Sexy. You've come to the back room, haven't you? You know, you're not supposed to be back here. Employees are not really allowed to be. But here you are. <laughs> I don't know why you decided to come back here. What did you hope to find, huh? Did you hope to find a rotten animatronic? Well, here you are. I'm just here, slumped against the ground. I don't even have an endoskeleton to move myself. And here you are. <laughs> what? Have you come to make fun of me? How I'm stuck in here? How all of us are stuck? I don't want to hear it. I've had enough of it. I thought, I thought we got rid of that man, and he didn't die. He's still alive. It's just so aggravating. I just want out. I just want to be free. But I can't. <laughs> oh well. What can you do, right? I'm sorry. We got off on the wrong foot. Here I am, blastering you and being mean and rude. And I haven't even told you my name. It's Fredbear. It's wonderful to meet you. Hmm. <sighs> you have a nice name. I'll give you that. You've never seen me before. <laughs> I'm well before your time. Back in the 80s, actually. I was a fairly popular animatronic. Me and Spring Bonnie would... We'd perform for hundreds of people. They'd bring their kids, laugh. So many parties, so much fun. But then he came. And he ruined all our fun. He made the place of joy a place of fear. And since then, no one wants us around. They got a colorful new cast to replace us. <laughs> a new Freddy, Bonnie, and two more additions, Chica and Foxy. Which I can't say that wasn't the worst choice. I mean, the TV show was popular. It's just unfortunate that I had to be put in the back room. It's kind of annoying. Hmm. Oh yes, I know, Night Guard. <laughs> I know about your job. Do not worry. I don't mean you any harm. The most I would do is play a prank on you or two. I've always been quite the trickster. Maybe I'll turn off your power. Maybe I'll <laughs> give you some. Maybe I'll take your hat. <laughs> Put firecrackers in the toilet. I've always been a trickster. It's just in my nature. Oh, don't worry. None of those will ever come harm to you. I would never. <laughs> what do I think of the other cast members? I think they're all right. Not my cup of tea, but I get along with some of them. Bonnie and Freddy in particular. Eh, Foxy's not really my style. They're a good person, don't get me wrong. It's just, I'm a lot less optimistic, let's say. And Chica, I can't stand. I'm going to be honest, she's too hyper for me. I, I can't take her personality. She talks way too fast. I like to take things more slow. And I like to take things at my own pace. Maybe it's because I'm an old, old animatronic. Or maybe it's the way I've always been. I can't quite remember. Forty years disappears in the blink of an eye, you know. <laughs> All these guys? 
They're barely in their 20s. I'm about ready to reach 50. Kind of crazy to think about. I wonder if I'd lived, if I hadn't have been stuffed in this suit, if I would have lived a long and prosperous life, what would I have done? I'm just picturing myself as a 50-year-old man. Now I'm just a metal thing, doomed to wander these halls for all eternity. Well, I would wander if I had legs. <laughs> but sadly, my endoskeleton is not in me. What can you do though, right? <laughs> oh, here's some tips for power consumption. Since you gave me such a wonderful conversation, I'll give you some help. Only close the doors when you need to. Because if you run out of power, <laughs> well, let's just say you'll be in for a scare. <laughs> I'm only playing with you. The animatronics here don't mean you harm. At least, most of them. There is one animatronic you should fear, but he's not getting out any time soon. You see that wall over there? <laughs> that wall wasn't always there, you know. At one point, that used to be a back room. Yes. A bunch of children were murdered in that room, you know. Five, to be exact. <laughs> I was among them. Such a sad tale. But what do you do, right? Hmm. That man was sealed back there after we cornered him into his own suit that he used to take our lives. Then the spring lock snapped and filet filet mignon. <laughs> oh, don't be afraid. He got what was coming to him. And, well, you seem all right. You know, I may not have an old body, but I feel old. I wonder if that can, like, make you move up your stiff mid movements? I don't know. <laughs> but regardless, it is rather comforting to talk to someone. Hardly anyone talks to me, so it's nice to have some company. Do you want to sit down? I would love to discuss more with you. Probably, maybe we could even discuss what kids are into nowadays. And it's been a long 50 years. Last time, last time I was around, you know, my old animatronic self, and I was entertaining children. The best thing around was He-Man. <laughs> and how TV just started to become mainstream. As our TV's in every home now. They were talking about wanting to do that. They are. Wait, full color? Ultra definition? You got me confused. I may not understand some of your new lingo. Can you help me here? Oh. Okay. Um, I don't quite understand, but if they're kind of like the cameras but better, that's cool. Hmm. Thank you. You are really nice. I needed someone to talk to. Say. Have tomorrow night. Come by, come back, and I'll, uh, we'll talk some more. <laughs> and maybe I can even do you a favor. Good night, security guard, and... Good luck with your 12 o'clock shift. I'll be rooting for you. Hmm. Uh, they seem nice. I'm going to protect them. Not again, guys. This time, my security guard's gonna make it out.